have to. It doesn't look like there are any bullet fragments, Hal. If Mr. Lung, I'll give you guys a little time. I mean, I'm just, um... No, that's okay today. Well, then I'm, yeah. I'm just gonna go... Okay, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> uh, entonces hablas español. Sí, claro. Eres de México. Pennsylvania. Mi familia es de Juárez. Uh, mucho gusto. Soy Lourdes. Tengo familia ahí. I asked Diego. He said it was wiped out. I don't know why I was hoping they had somehow survived. I'm an idiot. No, you're not an idiot. Just means you gotta hope for something else. Um, well, it, it really started with the captain being hypothermic, which is his body temperature has been dropping. So we wondered if the pathogen needed a cooler host environment to survive, which is why it's moving through the capillary system nearest to the surface of his skin. So we tried raising Captain Weaver's a bit back into his body. That change in temperature. The technique has been used to treat cancer and AIDS. Okay. All we need is a way to pump and recirculate the captain's blood through a heating element. Means. You didn't need to come up here to tell me that. Yeah, well, if we're gonna be... The window since they went after Ben. You know, we're here, so do the aliens. And for all we know, Thomas Patrol could have been in an ambush. They're coming we... back! The GTO working, right? I'm on it, sir. You unit gonna be ready to move out? Lord has just sent the last stretcher down in the basement we could use. No telling when we'll come across a cache like this again. All right. Just try to relax. We've got you. Thank you. We'll get you out of here. Just hang on. We can't leave you. You can't help us. Come on. Come on. Those things need to metal. So get her out. We can't get through. That way, those things can get in. There could be hundreds in there. Okay, Matt. Tell anybody you find that we're trapped in the blood lab. Why? In here. That's easy. Die. You. We're gonna get out of this, but it's gonna take both of. to see you back on your feet. I was worried about you. These people need help, no matter how I feel. Am I supposed to do that? Have a good cry? Come up with some platitudes about how losing Jamil will make... It doesn't matter if you have a good attitude or a bad one. Or if you're an honest person or immoral. No matter what you do or who you are, sooner or later, something terrible will happen to you. Like it happened to Jamil. To Uncle Scott, to your husband, and you and me. All we have to do is wait. Keep him hydrated. I, I can't. He's awake. Good. I'll go check on him. That's what you said about Jamil. Find a new line. That one's getting old. Hey, don't touch. Stop it. Hey, um. I'm sorry. Just still mad that. Here. Charleston? Really? <laughs> wow. It's hard to believe we actually made it. I just wanted to get started. <laughs> it helps us stay busy, you know? Mm -hmm. You want me to show you around? I'd love it. Cool. Um, there's medicine over here. <laughs> Amoxicillin. Been assigned to the surgical unit. It's a chance to learn and... Excuse me. I guess I am. So much for professional courtesy. Once they find out about your experience in the field, they'll probably have you running the place.
and we're not doing anything about it except waiting. And so is my. Well, this was a short lived paradise. Honestly, I'm happy to get back on the front line. Never thought I'd say it, but there's something about the rush. Yeah, I suppose that's it. Maybe we've just been fighting so long. I know. Oh, uh, yeah, but. Is Tom now? No. And I'm not going to tell him. I'm not exactly sure what's wrong. He might have a slight concussion, but his vital signs are normal and he's breathing on his own. Meaning what? Meaning nothing, really. We just have to wait and see what happens. Right now, I think it's best if we just let him rest, okay? Yes. Keep an eye on him.